हेलो वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी यूनिट नंबर टू चैप्टर नंबर फाइव इन दैट यूनिट नंबर टू देर इज चैप्टर नंबर टू आर कम्युनिटी एंड इकोलॉजी लेट सी कंटेंट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव टू फोकस ओनली द ऑर्गेनिजम टू ऑर्गेनिजम रिलेशनशिप एंड पॉपुलेशन डायनेमिक्स दैट टू पॉइंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस चैप्टर लेट सी इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर different types of relation found among the organism between the organism there are different type of relationship are exist relationship ensure for the food space and among the organism that relationship made on the basis of the some criteria for the food for the space for the two reasons the organism have a relationship to each other this relationship is known as a interaction such relationship also considered as a interaction on the basis of benefit and the harmful effect they are classified into two interaction first positive interaction and second negative interaction the relationship between the organism is called as a interaction on the basis of a harmful harmfulness and the you uh, usefulness of to the organism is considered as a positive interaction and the negative interaction let's see positive interaction it is a beneficial for the one interacting partner other partner is not harmed and both them are the benefited include mutualism and the commensalism positive interaction it is nothing but the those organism are interact to each other one of they are benefited one of they are benefited other will be not benefited or the another type of, there is a, both organism are benefited if the organism are benefited that means uh, they get a space and the food from the another organism is called as a benefited not benefited that means uh, there is neither any benefit but nor any loss from that uh, another organism let's see first type mutualism interaction between two living organism in a different species both partner are benefited mutualism it is a unique concept mutual things when they are present in association both organism that organism performing a relationship that is known as a mutualism that both organism are benefited for example crocodiles and the plover bird ants and the aphid flowers and butterfly honey bees and the flower each having each benefit for example honey bees and the flower honey bees get a nectar from the flower and the flower get a pollinate from the pollinate pollen grain from the one flower to the another flower same a flower and a butterfly same concept ants and aphid both organism showing the relationship they are benefited to each other each organism get a benefited mutualism it is also considered as a plus plus that means both organism are the benefited let's see lichen consist of fungi and algae living together that also show the mutualism interactions because algae produce the food and the fungi provide the shelter to growing a algae and such organism is considered as a lichen mutualism is also shown by the nodule nodule contain nitrogen fixing bacteria and peanut plant root that is a leguminosae family or the groundnut or the groundnut or the or the nuts that are the family of leguminosae member they showing the interactions that are the mutualism that is a symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria get a space for the growth and development and that bacteria provide a nutrient ability or the nitrogen to that uh, plant in this way mutualism interaction are work plant needs a nitrogen but it must uh, change to a nitrous first nitrogen fix the bacteria nitrogen fixing bacteria changing the nitrogen in uh, nitrates 
and the peanut provide the shelter and the food for the bacteria in this way mutualism will be work ants and aphids ants feeds on the sugary sugary honeydew left behind the aphids aphid protects the protects protection provided by the ant from a predator and the parasite in this way ants and aphids are a mutualistic relationship are showing then crocodile and the plover bird crocodile get a mouth clean from the food residue and the plover get get a food residue from the teeth that are the mutualistic relationship between the crocodile and the plover bird that also show the mutualism okay this is all about the plus plus interaction that means when organism are interacted to each other both organism are the benefited commensalism it is also positive interaction but it is a condition only one organism has benefited another organism nor benefited and the nor harm one one of the partner are benefited other partner neither benefited nor the harm for example shark and the romora vanda and mango animal fish and clown fish and the sea animal that type of interaction he is known as a commensalism commensalism is a relationship between two organism commensal benefit from the host for example shark and a remora fish shark not receive any benefit or the harm but remora fish get a free transport feed on food a scrap left by a shark that are the remora fish advantage another example is commensalism that is the orchid on the mango plant or the tree or the epiphyte growing on the tree that growing on a tree bird nest fern grows on the tree to obtain a sunlight but tree not receive any benefit and the harm clone fish and the sea animal clone fish live amid and the tentacles of the animals which protect them from a predator sea animal neither benefited and the non harm it is also considered as a commensalism shark and the sucker fish sucker fish get a food and the transport shark it is neither benefited or the nor harm as we can see in a figure that are the two type of a interaction that is considered as a positive interaction or the positive relationship between the organism let's see negative interaction negative interaction that is considered as a harmful interaction to the organism one of the interact interacting partner is a harm sometimes both partners are the harm include predation parasitism and the competition that are the interaction that organism get a harm from each other by the relationship and the interaction first is the predation the direct food relationship between the two partners one partners capture and the feed on the other partners partner that capture feed is called as a predator partner that is eaten is known as a prey it is also considered as a prey predator relationship because one predator it is a for the food it depend on the prey if prey is not in that system so that a predator will be a die so that a prey predator relationship it is a important for example tiger and deer tiger it is a predator and deer is a prey whale and the small fish human and other organism that is a prey predator one is a benefited and the one it is a harmful that are the relationship let's see tiger and deer tiger eat the deer and get a food and the deer get a kill deer get kill by the tiger that is a prey predator relationship whale and the small fishes whale feeds on the small fishes and get a food small fishes get a kill by a whale
रिलेशनशिप वेन एनिमल कैप्चर एंड ईट बाय अनादर एनिमल्स स्नेक ईट द ईट एंड द किल द रैट दैट इज स्नेक इट इज अ प्रिडेटर एंड रैट इट इज अ प्रे देन ऑल प्रिडेटर रैट प्रे फ्रॉक प्रिडेटर इंसेक्ट प्रे दैट आर द डिफरंट एग्जाम्पल एग्जिस्ट इन अ नेचर प्रे एंड अ प्रिडेटर नेक्स्ट निगेटिव रिलेशनशिप दैट आर द वन पार्टनर आर बेनिफिटेड अदर आर द हार्म the partner those get benefited that is a parasite and partner those those get a harm that are the host we are also considered as a host parasite relationship host it is a organism on that a parasite totally depends on the food shelter on the every requirement for the growth and development of a, that parasite parasite it is a organism which which grow on the host plant parasite get food and the shelter from the host for example tapeworm and human leech and pig mosquito and human that are the common example you see parasite para, parasitism he show the plus minus relationship plus minus relationship that means one get a benefited another will be a harm parasitism interaction between the benefit of a parasite on the other hand side host get a harm by the parasite let's see in figure we can see tapeworm and the host that is a human tapeworm is the parasite live in a human intestine obtain the food and the shelter from human host losses their weights and becomes a weak when tapeworm size increases growth will be more that parasite tapeworm get a more more uh, their infection the human uh, can be face to the losses of their weight and they become a uh, weak that are the best example of a parasitism or a host parasite interaction the next parasitism interaction wood fungus obtain the food and shelter from the tree and the host become a uh, weak and they also responsible to the uh, die that are the parasitism reaction one get benefited that are the fungal member and the another get a harmful that are the host and tree parasitism plus minus rafflesia and the host tree rafflesia obtain food and shelter from a tree and the host tree it is a weak and may also responsible to the death tapeworm and human tapeworm lives in the intestine of human feed on them and human have to possess when the size and the infection it is more of in tapeworm in intestine diarrhea abdominal pain hunger loss of appetite fatigue weight loss vitamin vitamin mineral deficiency that is the cause when the tapeworm size is increases or the infection will be a increases then prey predator concept there are some prey and predator are given i have explained previously then mosquito and human mosquito feeds on bloods of human and human are the host for the mosquito gets various diseases transmitted by a mosquito such as a dengue malaria that can be a transfer from the mosquito into the human that is also responsible die of that human that is a one one type of a host parasite interaction okay in host and parasite interaction host get a harm harmfulness and the parasite get a benefited next it is a competition here are the organism compete for the resources like water nutrient light and the space when resources are not sufficient for all individual individual harms one another and in trying to obtain it competition it observe in all type of community that may be occur in a human that may occur in plants that may be occur in a animals in a in an ecosystem or in an community there are the limited source of a food food water nutrient and the space are available so that uh, when population size will be increases or the number of organism will be increases they should be a 
compete each other compete to each other to get uh, that things but that things it is not in getting they are uh, providing harm to each other for example fishes inside the aquarium competing for the food and the space hyena and lion competing for the territory eagle and hawk competing for the prey competition relationship in an organism compete with each other for the food light water shelter meat and the minerals that are the different things they can compete for the each other in this figure we can see compete by the animals and the compete for the plant this is a intra specific competition competition among the organism of a same species competition take place in same species it is also considered as intra specific intra specific competition among the different species for example one dead animal can be fed by the tiger also hawk also and the deer also and the crows also they have a same source they do the competition for the getting that uh, food is known as a intra specific competition fishes inside the aquarium competing for the food and space hyena and lion competing for the territory territory that means uh, they reserve their uh, territory to getting their food and their dominancy they doing the such thing hyena and the lion eagle and the hawk competing for a prey that are the two are the organism carnivorous birds that can be feeds on the flesh that are the doing competition to getting the such type of a prey overall interaction common things prey predator relationship competition commensalism mutualism parasitism plus zero plus 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 minus that indicating the plus that means benefited zero means not benefited and the minus means is that is a harmfulness animal interaction play vital role in ecological balance animal interaction are the part of a food chain and the food web the energy flow in a ecosystem occurs through animal relationship thus the different types of animal interaction play their a magnificent role in an ecosystem let's see next point population dynamics population dynamics it is nothing but changes in a population of a organism over a time that is considered as a population dynamics population ecology study of population their size density distribution and changes over a time by doing this ecologists are able to gather the data that can help to them predict the trends and the health and the manages the size population dynamics is a group of organism of a same species that occupy in, a, in an area one of the characteristics of living things the ability to reproduce environmental condition that are the favorable then the number of individual in a population should be increased from one generation to the next generation that is also considered as a population characteristics or the population dynamics component of population changing demographer demography is known as a study of population demographer are really upon the demographic balance equation to very simply elegantly summarize the population change population 2 is equal to population 1 plus b plus d plus im minus om where population 2 are the population later time period population first are population earlier period b is the birth rate d is the death rate e em is the immigration and om that is the out migration simple formula that can determine the migration or the change in a population population dynamics it is nothing but the related to all four things b d im and om we should know b that means birth rate d means death rate i am that is a in migration and the d om that is a out migration 
population size and the population density the study of a population scientist measure the population size the number of individual of a specific species occupy in an given area divided by volume of given time and a population density population density the number of individual of the same species that occur per unit area or volume knowing the population size density provide more information about the population relationship resources and it uses n is the total number of individual in a population s is the space occupied by the population for example the population density is 480 moves living in a moves living in a 600 acres region of a alcoquin park then calculate the density n is the number of moles and the area the, there is a 0.8 moles per hectare population dispersion population dispersion it is also considered as a pattern or the distribution in which how population exist there are the three type of a distribution of a population random distribution there is a no specific order no specific order randomly uh, population are distributed in a community the organism spread throughout the area without a overall pattern without an overall pattern that means a number of organism and the population are present in a community randomly no any order then uniform distribution uniform distribution the organism are evenly distributed over an area uniform they have uniform area for example for example in first first row there are 10 in the second row also 10 third row also 10 they having the uniformity in that distribution then clump distribution the organism are concentrated in an one area or they are present in a area in a specific group in figure we can see there are three groups are present clump that means distribution occurs in a groups or the clump okay this is about today's lecture interaction of organism and the relationship of organism and population dynamics if you have doubt related any about in relationship uh, relationship in a organism and population dynamic please comment below the section thank you